You already clicked this video, which means one of two things. You already love Kobe, or you already decided that you hate Kobe. In that case, I promise you at least one gif of Amika Okafor being dunked on. It's not bad. Kobe Bryant is, surprise, surprise, probably gonna return from his Achilles injury a lot sooner than pretty much everyone expected. Not a huge surprise given that he's a physical and competitive maniac. And the Lakers aren't going to be all that good this season. They lost big players, they're old, beat up, and they've sort of unofficially told the basketball world they're ready to accept a miraculous top three pick from the NBA Draft Lottery. We've accepted that the Lakers aren't going to affect a pretty stacked Western Conference playoff race, but set aside your long-held Kobe hate and buckle up for reasons to actually like Kobe and the Lakers in 2013-2014. Why to actually enjoy and root for Kobe and the Lakers this season. Number one, there's an infinitesimally small chance that Kobe and Steve Nash will be healthy at the same time for a large part of the season. It'll be like an awesome version of Wild Hogs. Number two, Pau Gasol is once again the centerpiece of the Lakers' low post. Kobe and Pau have been through all sorts of weirdness together, so now even if you start liking Kobe, you can still make fun of Pau, and that's something. Number three, Kobe's the closest we've gotten to a player rehabbing from an injury and sawing through his cast in his garage like Jerry Rice did years ago. Old man commitment, super likable. And number four, you know there's gonna be a night where Pow's cranky, Steve Nash is hurt, Mike D'Antoni just doesn't care, and Kobe's fed up with everybody else on the team and drops like 65 on the bucks. And you know you wanna watch that. And finally, here's Kobe dunking on Amika Okafor from way back when, because that's what Amika Okafor was put on this planet to do, be dunked on.